There you are. And here I am. And here's Maisie. Up. Can you see her? Oh, you can not Sugar. I'll let you see her there, look. Good girl. Good girl. And while you're down there, look. First time in ages wearing my painty trousers. I did a big declutter and, uh, God, you're seeing the state of the kitchen floor and everything now. Did a big declutter and can't find any dirty clothes. Like, well, I can find dirty clothes, but I can't find any clothes that I would have used um, to paint in, you know. And so I think now this jumper is releg relegated to that. Like, I, I had t-shirts and jumpers that were covered in paint already. That I would, and I don't know where I put them all. I must have put them in a bag somewhere. Or else I must have decided... Maisie's just walking over and back on top of the microphone lead. Um, I must have decided that they could be in the laundry basket actually. There's two massive laundry baskets under the lorch up there. But the um, thing I must have decided is that uh, I no longer need them and I don't know, I can't find them anyway. So, um, if you've not tuned in here before, here's Maisie hurdling the microphone wire again. My name is Anya Devine. I'm um, a painter. I'm working in the kitchen here and I decided to launch into something to describe these flowers tonight. And I set myself up like I've moved all the food off the worktop and put on my paints and uh, pastels and stencils. And um, look, I'll just show you. She's going to get stuck in that wire and that'll be the end of it. Now, when I'm showing you that, I'm also showing you the state of the kitchen. But you see what I mean? I've laid things out so there's a bit of order here. Um, yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, bit of order. Um, and I also needed to stop, like I've got a box of collage materials and a bag of paints there as well. I needed to stop um, at a certain point um, finding stuff until, because it kind of needs for me to be a bit of an, uh, an old uh, adventure, you know. That's Maisie, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so... Sorry, this is a bit rambling to start out now, but I just wanted to say that just there before starting, I thought, I need to turn it on and get going. Because um, I started to... I could feel the cogs turning and wanting to make a plan. And I find that the most satisfying way of working is really when there is no plan and um, um, only maybe a way in. And my way in tonight was to pick out a couple of um, colours in acrylic paint that I thought I could maybe start with. And that was just my step through the door and we'll see then what happens next, you know. Um, okay. And I also could only find one brush, I could only find this big brush, so that's another kind of welcome restriction. It's a two and a half inch brush. Liz, you're going to need to stop going over and back. Right. Um, okay. So I've got my big brush, kitchen paper to dry it. I've got the green paint, so I've got um, hookers green which looks like this. Hooker's green, nice dark green, and ultramarine blue, and then olive green. I mean, you can't really see it there, can you? Let me see, what am I gonna do? Let me just use the brush. There's what hooker's green looks like. Is it even? Yeah. And I put out too much of it, really. I'm gonna put some of that now onto the palette. I've got here. Okay. Already I'm kind of feeling like the paper isn't isn't big enough. But sure we'll see. Okay. Right. Yeah, I could maybe use the kitchen paper to wipe away some of that now. But I think I might put on some blue first before before wiping away. I'll just put on some of the ultramarine blue. And um I could spread that around as well, couldn't I? Maybe. 
just I wanted to darken the foliage there. I have a feeling I'm going to want to stick on another another little bit here in order that I can capture that flower that's extending out the way there on the other side. So I'm going to leave that as an option for myself. But in the meantime, maybe I won't need to do that. We'll see. I quite like extending beyond the boundary, which I feel like flowers kind of naturally do anyway. There's a yearning about them that makes them extend beyond and above and through and yeah, you know, flowering by its nature is like <laughs> expansive, isn't it? I actually, I'll tell you what, I bought this TK Maxx bag the other day and I thought, do you know what, if I could just put that bag there now, wouldn't that be pretty much, you know, it's like a whole load of butterflies, but I thought if that was, um, if that was pieces of paper, I could have torn them and made them into the bunch of flowers in a couple of, mi a couple of seconds, really. Right, what am I doing now? All right, so I'm creating, yeah, you see, where, is, where are the flowers actually going to be? And the vase. Maisie, she's been out enough to not today. Really exciting things you can do with acrylic to um, to make the surface inspiring. Do you know. Oh, amazing. This is my first time painting at the easel in ages. If you tune into my YouTube um, videos regularly, you'll know that I've not really for a while stood up and done this and it feels really good actually this uh, expansion you know with a bit of color and yeah and just the feeling like I don't know what's gonna go on next but it feels good anyway Okay. Oh, Maisie. Um, so. Right, I need to get something else on there now, I think, in terms of colour. There's some pink, isn't there? Maybe those ones I think that might work just a little extension just there is okay It'll do for now anyway a bit more salmon than pink. You know, that's kind of annoying me. I didn't want that there. Mm. What do I want? Let me see. I'd say, hmm, maybe I could put something in there. Thing down low, just to anchor down the to anchor down the vase there. Can you see when I'm doing that? You maybe can't. Anyway, there we have it. So we have vase, we have foliage, <laughs> and I quite like the leaf coming down there now. And you need something. Maybe this is needing to be in the centre. Or maybe I just need to find that colour somehow in paint. Actually, this is um, this is alcohol ink, this stuff. It's quite nice. 
quite nice things. But the thing is, when it's up like that, if I put ink on it, it'll only all run down. So I maybe wait. But what I want to do is to find something purplish. And it'll need to be acrylic, really. The reason it needs to be acrylic is because it needs to go over. And it needs to be able to cover. So that's magenta there now. And I suppose if I was to put something, what would I put with that? To make it more... I need a blue, don't I? I think if I put some cerulean blue into that magenta, we might get something resembling that stock colour. That's not unlike it there, is it? Yeah. That's not unlike it. I need a clean brush, though. I wasn't really wanting to use my watercolour brush, but I think um, I need something that's in between. So after saying it was no restriction, I'm going to lift that restriction for myself. And use my um, one and a half inch watercolour brush to establish the stock that's there. Now I'm using the magenta and the cerulean blue together. A bit more blue. And I could put some white into it as well, but I think I'm kind of getting away with it being, I'll just put the darks down first. I feel like I'm being a lot more kind of cagey with it. And this is really unusual for me to use my watercolour brush. I must be really wanting to impress you. It's unusual for me to use the watercolour brush for uh, with acrylic paint because it's um, not meant for acrylic. So I'll just put it back there now and then make do. So I'm going to create a space there. And then I'm sure I could just put down the colour with um, the magenta and cerulean blue over the background white that I lifted off. Do you want to go for a pee, Maisie? Go on then. Are you still there? Gosh. I don't know, can you hear me at all? The microphone was turned down the way. I'll just put it on to this side. Right, I might actually turn this off now and do a step two. That'll be a lot more cohesive. But there's it so, that's it so far anyway. We're getting somewhere and it's been, it's been a bit of fun. I'm stopping it now because I think I could post the 15 minute ones to Instagram. But this one, I don't know, anyway. Uh, all the best there'll be a step two and maybe a step three and four I might be here until the early hours but actually I don't want to be because I think there's something lovely and lively about the moving the swift thing especially for me not having done anything wide and, and brave for a while it's good to feel that boldness and to keep it swift then and actually having a little pause now would be no harm as well and I'll sort something out with Maisie okay Thanks for joining me. I'll see you st step two, flowers in the kitchen. Bye.